Manhattan by Jung Sung Ken. I am unsure of what the title Manhattan might refer to, as this piece did not evoke the island of Manhattan to me particularly. It's too intimate, too quiet. And for that reason, at first, I couldn't see a connection to my piece, which is anything but intimate and quiet. Manhattan also has a jazz feel, and jazz is a musical form I know very little about. But I will say this piece has really intrigued me, and I woke up the other night, I wasn't morning yet, and the music was playing in my head, and I was clearly thinking about it as I slept. begins with what feels like a pacing pace. I'm imagining someone walking through the city at night. They're alone, but not lonely. I mean, it doesn't even have to be a city. The title and the jazz feel are sort of citifying it for me, but the theme feels like it's seeking something, questing, and so maybe this piece could also bring to mind for me the Australian Aboriginal dream time. Works of my own that came to mind were Landscape with Underpants, which is an image of a person in the city of night, albeit in their underpants. I also thought of my piece Corona Borealis, an image in which I sought to depict a, quote, chosen one. And I spent a lot of time researching that piece by wandering through the city of Philadelphia, photographing manhole covers and telephone poles. Manhole covers are fascinating. But you know what? Ultimately, I understood this piece is that it seemed to be an attempt to represent the reconciliation of dualities. The instruments are calling to each other and responding. They intertwine. One calls, the other responds. And they become more unified as the piece goes on, or at least they become utterly interdependent. The intertwining, interdependent motifs made me think of my piece, A Play About Snakes, for obvious reasons. in Manhattan, Jung Sung Kang interlocks the motifs making an irreducible gestalt. When working on the Battle of Carnival in Lent, I started by sketching the seven deadly sins, fighting it out with the seven cardinal virtues. Along the way, I discovered that I don't strongly believe in polarized concepts such as good versus evil. <clears throat> so I think Manhattan also strives to make this point. It became a discussion for me of the pitfalls of binary thinking. There is no mind without body, etc., etc. So while Battle is a good piece for Manhattan, I will say I've noticed this in other works of mine as well, most notably an invocation where I layered a female and male figure together to allow the transparency of the glass to combine the layers into a single image.
I am pairing Manhattan with ginger lemon probiotic tea. Lemon and ginger strike me as a refreshing and unexpected resolution of opposites, perfect for reminding us of the perils of Cartesian thinking. And remember, whenever we default to polarities, there are casualties. Never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. Chaim.